Hi again. It's me. Today, I'm going to read you some poems. I love poetry, and I hope you're going to enjoy these. I'm going to read you two poems by Shel Silverstein. The first one is called 28 Uses for Spaghetti. Spaghetti has so many uses. It can be used for whips or nooses. It makes great back straps for papooses or leashes when you're walking gooses. It makes a perfect slingshot sling. It makes a great cat's cradle string, a jumping rope, a scooter tire, a bouncy acrobatic wire, a boxing ring where you can spar, six twangy strings for your guitar. I know it's droopy, warm, and wet, makes a lovely tennis net. And as suspenders, it's just fine for holding pants up, yours, not mine. A string to fly your red balloon, a phone cord for your telephone. Hair ribbons, neckties, or boot laces. Reindeer reins for reindeer races. A wig to fit a silly queen. A mushy beard for Halloween. And it can make a neat lasso. In fact, there's nothing it can't do. Oh, and you can eat it too. And now I'm going to read you a poem called A Mouse in This House. There's a mouse in this house, said Uncle Ben, as he peeked down a hole in the floor. There's a mouse in this house, he said again, as he pushed aside the chest of drawers. A mouse in this house, he cried once more as he ripped down the drapes in the hall. And he pulled up the boards of the kitchen floor and hammered a hole in the dining room wall. He yanked all the pictures right off their hooks, pushed over the bookcase and tore through the books. A mouse, he rasped as he searched around. In this house, he gasped as a beam came down. He dug through the closets, he poked through the trash. The overhead ceiling fan fell with a crash. He pried up the tiles, he chopped up the hose. He was sure that he saw a mouse's nose. He jerked all the bathroom drain pipes out, unscrewed all the faucets, looked up the spouts. Is that a switch or a mouse's ear? Down came the dining room chandelier. A mouse in this house, we heard him shout as he got his chainsaw out. He sawed through the baseboards, he sawed through the struts, he poked through the plaster as he sliced and he cut all the electric wires that ran through the house. They did look a bit like the tail of a mouse. He tore down the banister, pulled up the nails. A mouse can hide down under banister rails. He sliced through the carpet, he ripped up the stairs. He sawed through the table and splintered the chairs. Now what was that on the windowsill? He got out his hydraulic drill. Crack went the windows, zip went the screens, down fell the ceiling, down came the beams. He tore up the cement and the stone cellar too. He smashed in the fireplace and looked up the flue. Dug out the foundation from under the house, muttering something about some lousy mouse. Yanking the hinges right off the doors, bashing down rafters and two by fours. And then, as the last of the walls caved in, a small gray tail flicked out of sight, right past the shoe of Uncle Ben. Aha, he said, I was right. <laughs> I hope you like that. And I'll be back again to read some more. Take care of yourselves.